Luca as what we consider to be one of the preeminent data and software firms in the digital asset space, right? What, what people are looking for, especially institutions, is for it to be easy. Make me a front end that I'm used to, that I can uh, assimilate to, that makes digital assets, tokenization, or anything in the middle look like an equity, a fixed income instrument, or a commodity, depending on what I'm familiar with, right? right? And so for Luca, as a particular firm, and obviously we, we would work with the people on, the, on stage and other people, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is normalization. You know, having come from uh, running trading desks in, in the traditional financial world, even on the program trading side, right, we had to, on the global side, we had to worry about whether a client would send in an ISIN, hopefully a seed all because it's a unique identifier, a QSIP, and God forbid you had the wrong uh, currency on it because then you wound up taking risk uh, on behalf of your client. But the bottom line is, even in the more traditional defined space, identifiers can be problematic, right? And then you take firms where you have to issue your own tokens, right? So coming back to it, standardization and normalization of data, identifiers, making sure that each token, a token represented by JP Morgan doing the same thing that is represented by Société Générale might have uniquely assigned identifying numbers by those actual firms. Not because they want to make it difficult, because it's just you have to start somewhere. But there's no uniform labeling or coding of a similar token from two different firms. And that is part of the standardization and normalization exercise that I think a lot of institutions would eventually need, like to see and require.